Welcome to Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to look at quadrilaterals. All quadrilaterals have four sides. In this video, we will look at a kite, a parallelogram, a rhombus, a rectangle, a square, trapezoid, and isosceles trapezoid. Let's get started. Rhombuses and squares. Each of these are plain two-dimensional shapes. Let's look at some of the properties of each of these shapes. Each of these shapes are considered to be a polygon, which is a closed figure composed of lined segments. They also are considered to be quadrilaterals, which mean they each have four sides. They also are all parallelograms, which means they have opposite sides that are parallel. Let's go ahead and look at some of the unique properties of a rhombus, rectangle, and a square. What is a rhombus? A rhombus is most commonly recognized as a diamond, but they are not limited to this shape. Let's take a look at 14 properties of a rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral, which means it has four sides. In addition, each of these sides are congruent or equal. The opposite sides of a rhombus are parallel. A rhombus has opposite angles that are congruent. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. The diagonals of a rhombus form four congruent interior triangles. The diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other this means that they cut each other in half. The formula for finding the perimeter of a rhombus equals P equals 4S. S equals sides. The formula for area equals 1 half diameter 1 times diameter 2. A rhombus has all the properties of a parallelogram. These include opposite sides are congruent, the opposite angles are congruent, the diagonals bisect each other. All squares can be considered a rhombus, but not all rhombuses are squares. The diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other, but they do not have to be the same length. Hello, welcome to Moomoo Math. In this video I'd like to talk about the properties of a rectangle. A rectangle is part of the quadrilateral family, which means it is a plane shape with four sides. In addition, it has several other properties. A rectangle is a four-sided polygon with opposite sides being parallel. In addition, a rectangle has four right angles and the sum of these interior angles add to 360 degrees. Let's talk about the diagonals of a rectangle. The diagonals of a rectangle are of equal length. The diagonals also bisect and create two pairs of equal triangles. Opposite sides of a rectangle are equal and the opposite sides are parallel. All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. Hello, welcome to Movement Math. In this video, I'd like to talk about the properties of a square. 
A square is a plane shape. It is a quadrilateral that is two-dimensional, so it has length and width, but no height. A square has four congruent sides, four equal sides. also bisect opposite angles and create equal 45 degree angles. As a result of the diagonals bisecting opposite angles, they create triangles that are congruent. Triangle A, B, and C is congruent to A, C. rhombus with four right angles, or a rectangle with congruent sides. Properties of a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. The parallel sides of the trapezoid cre create the two bases. The sum of the interior angles of a trapezoid equals 360 degrees, and the angles on each side are supplementary. The trapezoid has four vertices, these are also called corners. The median of a trapezoid is the line that connects the midpoint of the two legs. The formula for finding the median is take base 1 plus base 2 and divide by 2 for the average. In addition, there are also right trapezoids and an isosceles trapezoid. A right trapezoid has a right angle. An isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid with two parallel sides, and the other two sides are congruent. In addition, the diagonals of an isosceles triangle are also congruent. The base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. In the UK, a trapezoid is called a trapezium. The formula for finding the area of a trapezoid is one half base 1 plus base 2 divided by the height. The perimeter is take base 1 plus base 2 plus side 1 plus side 2. A common mistake people mistake the side length of a trapezoid for the height. It is not. The height, think of the height as a line that runs perpendicular from one base. Anyway, there's some properties for the trapezoid. Hope these help. Hi, welcome to Moomoo Math. Today we're going to look at the properties of isosceles trapezoids. Let's first define what an isosceles trapezoid is. It is a quadrilateral, meaning it has four sides. And isosceles, a trapezoid, also has one pair of parallel sides. That's the first property we're looking at. So we have WX is parallel to ZY. So those are the two sides that are parallel and we signify that with these arrows. Also we have, since it's an isosceles trapezoid, we have one pair of congruent legs. So these two sides that are not parallel to each other are actually called legs and they are the same length so they're congruent to each other. So these are our bases. 
the bases are the sides that are parallel and the legs are the non-parallel sides. Now one of the properties of an isosceles trapezoid is about the angles. So let's look at our base angles. We have two pairs of base angles. We have the ones down here at the bottom and we have the ones at the top. And these two angles that are run along the same base, those two W and X have the same measure and Z and Y have the same measure. So let's throw some angle measures up there. We know that a quadrilateral adds to 360 degrees. Let's say that our base angle is 110 degrees. Let's draw it where it's more appropriate. 110 degrees up here. And this one would be 110 degrees. Now, these adjacent sides are going to be um, supplementary. So if this one is 110, the angle below it has to add up to 180 or 180 degrees. So this one would have to be 70. So if this one's 110, this one would be 70 because these two are supplementary or add to 180. And this one would also be 70 degrees. So the two base pairs of base angles are congruent to each other and then the consecutive angles are supplementary. So hope this video was helpful in learning about the properties of isosceles trapezoids.